We're being asked to find the following limit, so solution. The first thing you should do whenever you're evaluating a limit is take this number and plug it in just to see what is going on. So instead of e to the x, we'll have e to the 0 minus e to the 0, right? Negative 0 is 0 over 0. Okay, so this is 1 minus 1 over 0. This is 0 over 0. So this is an indeterminate form. Indeterminate form. And it's one of the particular indeterminate forms that allows us to use L'Hopital's rule. So whenever you have 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, we can use L'Hopital's. So how do you use L'Hopital's? Well, let's write this down again. So limit as x approaches 0. L'Hopital's just says that you take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. Super powerful. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x minus, and then the derivative of this guy right here, well, that will be e to the negative x times the derivative of the inside piece. The derivative of the inside is just negative 1, right? That's the derivative of negative x. That was the chain rule. On the bottom, the derivative of x is just 1. So we end up with the limit as x approaches 0 of e to the x plus e to the negative x all over 1. Why didn't I simplify the 1? I have no idea. <laughs> so now, now we can plug in 0. So we get e to the 0 plus e to the 0 over 1. I won't write it this time. Uh, so we get 1 plus 1, which is 2. So the final answer is 2.